everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today we will talk about hostels and I will share with you everything that I learned from staying mostly in hostels for over seven months right now. This is my longest solo backpacking adventure and I am loving it. First thing, no matter how trustworthy or reliable your hostel mates might seem, it is not a good enough reason for you to trust. So always have a padlock with you and keep your valuables secure. That's mostly your laptop, your camera, everything that you deem valuable. And some hostels sometimes you can either buy from them or you can rent one or sometimes some travelers might I have left a padlock behind so you can ask to borrow but it's better to have yours the second thing is a universal adapter whether you are staying in hostels or not this is an important thing to have with you especially if you are going on a long backpacking adventure I will link to something similar to this one in the first comments third thing this is not something that I thought that I would need when I started my adventure a silk pillowcase and the reason why I bought this one just lately is because many hostels yes they might claim that they do change change their bed sheets and pillowcases and clean them on a daily basis but to be honest with you there are some hostels where I look at the bed sheets and I'm pretty certain that it's not clean I just cannot imagine the fact that I'm going to put my skin on a dirty pillow it's just not gonna happen so with this one you can wash it and clean it whenever you want to and then it basically has a zipper so you can just take the pillow and then insert it inside and the next thing is a case for bar soap so the last thing that you want to do is to leave your bar soap just anywhere especially if you are taking a shower in the hostel because you just don't know how clean it is so this is great once you seal it and you throw it in your backpack it's waterproof and uh, only anti-leakage so it's not going to make a mess in your backpack I find this to be super helpful the next thing is the towel in hostels unfortunately you're not going to be provided with towels so it's very important to have your own towel uh, this is one from pack towel actually uh, my first towel I ended up losing it in uh, Cairo before you change from one hostel to another always make sure that you are thorough when it comes to checking what you left in the balcony or the shower or the bedroom or whatever so I ended up leaving mine in the balcony but I just ordered a new one blue color and I really like it I love this towel is because it's a microfiber so it's lightweight it dries super fast I mean it doesn't even need that much time to dry and it doesn't take a lot of space in my backpack which is great okay so next up a uh, pair of uh, flip-flops this is uh, important not only to walk around the hostel wherever you are but especially for taking showers because again same thing with showers inside the hostels some of them are clean some of them are not super clean and it's not healthy for you to walk barefoot foot in a nasty shower that's a no 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 so flip-flops uh, pretty essential and then I always pack a sea to summit dry sack uh, I packed this one without really knowing what I would use it for but I'm so glad I did because first of all if I end up taking a shower and I have to leave the hostel and take my backpack with me uh, and my flip-flops are wet I would throw them in there just to keep things clean and tidy in my backpack and then the second usage for this dry sack is usually when I have uh, dirty laundry or dirty clothes and I don't want them to get mixed with everything that's clean in my backpack so I get them I throw them in there and then I just seal it like this and it's separated and even it contains the odor so the rest of your clothes don't get really stinky and then also if sometimes I have to hand my stuff uh, for uh, the hostel staff to, to do my laundry I would fill this one up and give it to them now one thing to keep in mind you're not going to find laundry services in every hostel it just depends so there were many hostels where I had to find the laundromats outside of the hostel and so for that I also pack a laundry mesh bag so this one if I need to do to go to the go to the laundromat for example I would just fill it with all of my clothes and uh, make my way to the laundromat so I technically have these two just to manage laundry so it's been working really well now back to uh, essentials for the hostel this is a collapsible day pack C to summit ultra seal 20 liters so I use it for a lot of things if I go on uh, you know day excursions around cities or if I go for uh, short day hikes but the other thing that it's important for especially when you are staying in a hostel let's say for example you are staying in the upper bunk bed and you don't want to keep making your way up and down up and down if you need things uh, throughout the night so what I would do I would empty this backpack and I fill it with everything that I think I would need throughout the night so if I need I don't know maybe like a towel if I need uh, a book if I need to throw in like a bottle of water whatever just fill it in and then I would hang it by the side of the bed this way uh, you don't have to drag your heavy backpack to the upper bunk so this is great uh, it doesn't have to be exactly this type of bag so you can 
something probably about a, a tote bag or really just a, a larger reusable bag actually you know a reusable bag would be really helpful especially if you plan on cooking a lot while traveling because a lot of times i would go to the grocery store and i feel bad because i'm just dragging a lot of plastic bags with me so i think a tote bag or a reusable bag could be also useful wet wipes so i'm starting now to have wet wipes with me almost all the time by the way when i was traveling in north africa and the middle east my favorite thing about this part of the world was the fact that almost every place i go to they have a bidet so you can wash yourself with water which is amazing but it's not the case in the rest of the world and in many hostels you're not even going to find toilet paper which happened to me multiple times i was not happy with it sure you can buy toilet paper once you arrive to your destination but it's better to have a backup like let's say for example you check into your hostel it's late at night and you don't want to head out in the middle of the night to find toilet paper so you have some wet wipes with you you might need to have an eye mask with you if you have high sensitivity to light or earplugs if you have sensitivity to noise. But for me personally, I don't feel like I need them. Although I've been using my noise canceling headphones just to listen to whatever it is that I need to listen to before going to bed. And many nights I would fall asleep with them and they do a pretty good job canceling all the noise outside. That's everything that I have in mind for today's video. If you guys have any suggestions and things that you pack with you when you're staying in hostels, let us know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.